In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can shut off your main water supply to your house if your house has sprung a leak. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to DIY Read. My name is Reed, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do tech reviews, home automation, home and automotive style how-to videos. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a few home automation products from Yolink. There's nothing new about water leak sensors out there as there's quite a few companies out there that have them and they alert you of any water leaks. That being said, that's really all most of them do. They alert you that there's a water leak. Great. Now I know there's a water leak in my house and if I'm not home, there's nothing I can do about it. There are other products out there with inline auto shutoff valves, but most of them require you to cut into your water line to install them and they can cost a pretty penny. This is the kit I went with for Yolink. It has two water leak sensors, their hub, and the wireless control valve that will also have the Bulldog ball valve manipulator. This starter kit retails for about $329. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. This thing is awesome and perfect for any DIYer out there. The Bulldog ball valve uses a clamp and it mounts directly to your main water line at the control valve. And then it has a little arm that attaches so it can control the valve open and close. As you're well aware of now, the valve is now taken over by the controller. So you may be asking yourself, how do I open and close the valve manually if I need to? Don't worry, Yolink thought of this. And there's a button on the back side of the controller that allows you to hold it. And it'll when you hold that button, you can move the valve manually open and close. Now let's move on to leak sensors. Here I have two of these water leak sensors and able to detect water leaks, of course. Not only do they detect water on the ground using, they have on the back side, they have four prongs and then on the front side, they have two prongs. When water connects the two prongs together, it completes a circuit. And once it completes the circuit, it alerts you that there's water. At the very top of this sensor, which is really nice, is it has a little cup. And on this cup, it allows water to accumulate in there and allows the water to touch the two sensors. And it makes it a little bit more efficient. The valve and link sensors connect to the Yolink hub that controls everything. The Yolink hub is the only device that will need to be powered by an outlet. This device also connects to your home network via Wi-Fi or ethernet. It's up to you which one you wanna use. All this connects using the LoRa communication protocol. This allows communication to each device in open air up to about a quarter mile, which is, I mean, that's a long ways. Yolink has a unique device device pairing control of up to 120 sensors. This allows you to connect all the devices together directly. And in case the hub, it goes down or if there's a power outage or if the internet is down. This works out well in the event of a power loss or internet goes down. And if it detects a leak, it'll still at least move the valve and close it if need be. Yolink says that the battery life on these sensors are about five years, which is great because who likes replacing batteries every six months or a year? A year's not too bad, but five years, that's excellent. Yolink also has about 30 plus products in addition to what you're seeing today, such as a temperature, humidity sensors, wall switch, outdoor motion sensor, outdoor siren, you name it. The Yolink hub does have an Amazon Alexa integration. So that's kind of cool. You can tell Alexa, open or close the water valve. Not really needed, but that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and check out the smartphone app and some of the neat stuff that you can do with it. So here's the Ulink app. I have the leak sensor. I just named it leak sensor, my hub and the valve. So you can tap into these individually and it'll show you the battery life and the connection that it has um, right now. It also shows it in the little tiles here. There isn't really anything other than it says normal. It's, it's not detecting any water right now, but there's nothing really here that it's showing extra. Other than down below, alert interval and my history. So if I click on history, it'll show me, I was playing around with this the other day, um, putting it in a glass of water and it alerts you very quickly as well as sends you a push notification. Now, if you go to the Ulink hub, same thing. It's right now you can see it's connected to my wireless network, not ethernet. You can check the three dots at the very top and this will take you through on all the devices. If you want to update your firmware, it'll tell you what, it, you know, the IP address of the, of the items. And it will tell you the social, uh, not social security number, but the, the uh, serial number of the product if you need to. And at the very back here, you got the valve. And you can see right here, you can open and control. Uh, well, it's, right now it's open, but you can control it here with that little toggle switch. But you can also tap into it and you can see right now it's opened. And all I have to do to close it is go ahead and close. At this point in time, I can schedule something. So you don't necessarily have to use this for like your inlet water supply 
if you wanted to say set up a, an irrigation system or something else that's going to water or whatever open the valve you can schedule something here so you can say at this day open it for so long and that type of stuff you can also say open it for two hours now um, that's probably not something you're going to do on just the main valve that's what i have it set up for but you can at least it's a little bit better that you can use it for other things if you want another thing to mention is down here at the smart button here it will allow you to have home scenes so that way if you're away it detects you're away you can say hey go ahead and turn off the water if everybody's away and home assistant i can say if everybody's away you can turn off the water valve if you wanted to or maybe if you do a vacation thing um, if you're leaving on vacation you can turn off your water supply if you wanted to um, you can do quite a bit of stuff but you'll need home assistant for that you can probably set it up somewhat in here but it won't be as good as home assistant but you can probably do it pretty much in here if you wanted to then you go to automation so right now i have one automation set up and that's for the leak sensor here and when it detects water there's two behaviors first it's saying when leak sensor water detected the behavior is well it wants to notify me there's a default notification saying water detected water shut off and then it's also going to tell the valve to close and then below that it also has working time right now it's always working you can have it set up to only work certain during certain times and then there's an advanced section here and you can set it up to well save the execution to the log which we want to do we want to make sure we have logs of everything uh, retry when action fails i disabled that because that thing will probably i don't want to say break that handle off but i don't want to cause an issue if it does snag up on something or if it just if it does snag up on something i don't want to re keep retrying and maybe cause damage uh also it says continue if action fails as well so obviously we probably don't want to continue and notify me or notify me if the action fails i want to know if it fails so that way i can go and check it real quick obviously if i'm not at my house same instance of not having a water control valve but this is just kind of if something happens it kind of helps you out there and then there's an interview interval of continuous execution which is five seconds so that's what i have right here uh for your automation now in home assistant i'm probably gonna set up an automation instead and remove this one but this is a, how you can control it and automate it without any other home or at least home automation hubs now that you've seen what the smartphone hub has to offer i wanted to talk a little bit more about the home assistant integration your link allows you to connect the hub and devices to your home assistant instance so that way you can include non-yolink devices in your automations which is really nice this allows you to use other water leak sensors along with the yolink water leak sensors to make your automations more robust keep in mind the yolink integration with home assistant is currently only cloud-based and any automations that you have set up in home assistant that uses the yolink products will require internet connection to be had with the yolink hub here are my final thoughts on this yolink setup I will say I was super excited to get this and test it out. I've always wanted to add a main water line shutoff valve to my home assistant integrations, and this will allow me to do it. I never really wanted to pay a plumber to mess with using an inline valve, and that's pretty much all there is to offer out there for the most part, at least until I saw Yolink. It's fairly easy to set up, and this is an average DIYer's dream. The last thing I want to do or should I say the last thing my wife wants me to do is break something on the main water line so that way we don't have any water going to the house. And now we have to pay for a professional to come out and fix it. Well, that's not gonna happen now that I got this and it's easy to set up. The integration with Home Assistant was a huge selling point for me. However, the neat thing is you don't need Home Assistant. You don't need another hub. All you need is the Yolink hub and you're good to go. The Yolink hub can take care of all the automations and push notifications for this. The starter kit I have is $329, and that's not a bad price when you think about all that it comes with. I will leave it linked in the description below so you can check it out if you want to. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave me a like. If you have any questions about the Yolink products or need help with setting up your setup, please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to help you. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.